Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so let's jump right on into this video, honey. All right, so I'm taking my MAC moisturizer, adding it to my lips. I've already cleansed my face using my Cetaphil cleanser. Now I'm going to spray it with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and add a moisturizer. These are all the products I use every day and I love them so much. Alright, so I'm going to take my Prep and Prime by MAC and go ahead and add this to my face as well. And then let that sit for about 30 seconds. Alright, so now time to color correct any darkness. I'm going to take that around my eyes and my mouth area. And guys, I do have freckles. Those aren't like acne scarring or anything. I have freckles. <laughs> Alright, just color correcting my eyelids as well. Alright, taking my beauty sponge that I got from AliExpress and blending that out. Alright, now time to highlight. So I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. And yes, girl, I did go lighter on my highlight in this video. <laughs> I wanted that full face glam <laughs> alright so I'm gonna go ahead back into my NYX palette and take that darker color and go ahead and contour my nose I did my contour a little wider because I wanted my nose to appear a little smaller I'm going to contour my cheekbones here and my forehead. But as you're going to see, my contour is not going to be popping like I really want it to be because of that sponge that I was using. And I don't know why I still used it, but you're going to see me change into my regular beauty blender. Well, the original beauty blender. But yeah, just blending everything out. And picking a lot of product up at the same time. <laughs> and guys, it might be that NYX palette too. I'm currently waiting on my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, concealer contour palette to get here. Okay, so I got my original beauty blender and I'm just going to blend everything. So you really can't see my contour lines. But it's okay. I'm going to bring them back in a minute. Alright, so just setting all my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Okay, time to go ahead and add the foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fix. I'm going to use this flat top brush. And I found that this is the best brush for this particular routine because it just buffs this powder foundation in my skin so flawlessly. I love it so much. It doesn't leave my face looking cakey. Just, just watch. Y'all will see. You'll see. <laughs> I'm blending out that contour on my forehead. I forgot to do that. And as you can see, I'm adding the powder only to the areas that don't have the setting powder. Just adding my Benefits primer to my eyelids. And then I'm going to pick up Black Bean by NYX to add that as a base. I'm going for a smoky eye, just a soft smoky eye look. Blend that out a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills The Artist Palette. Go into this color. Add that right above my crease using this as a transition color. This is the perfect shade for like a smoky eye. I love it so much. And 
And I always tell you guys, I'm very light on my makeup when it comes to my eyes and everything. Alright, so I'm taking this yellow base color and I'm adding that to my brow bone. It's no particular reason why I'm light on my makeup. I just think it fits me. I don't need that much, I don't think. <laughs> but I know the more I get into makeup, I probably will be, you know, start to get more dramatic with it. <laughs> so I'm taking this deep plum purple and adding that into my crease. Blending that out with a clean brush. Then I'm going to take these two colors, that navy and black, and pack that on my lid. Pack that on. Then go ahead and blend. Taking a larger blending brush, blending some more. Want it to appear seamless. Now I'm going to go ahead and dust away any excess powder and fallout. Okay, going back into my Studio Fix powder and adding that on the areas where I had the setting powder just to bring some warmth back into my face. Prepping my lashes here. Then I'm going to take this contour powder. You guys are going to see me like scrape the powder up because it gets a little dry and hard to use. So I'm going to go ahead and set my contour lines. And this brush I also got from AliExpress, you guys see it said N-A-R-S. I'm not going to say the name because for a dollar, I don't think this is the real thing, but it works really good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. Adding black bean to my lash line. I'm going to go ahead and try to add some of that contour back into my nose. Taking this navy color and adding that to my lower lash line. And kind of smudging it in as well. I'm taking this plum color and adding that to the inner corners of my uh, bottom lash line as well. More mascara. Taking this e.l.f. palette that I love and adding this pop of color. And I'm taking my mineralized skin finish in dark and I'm going to set my face with it. Wiping off any excess moisturizer and lining my lips with this NYX pencil. And then I'm going to take this lippy that I got from MAC. This was a limited edition lipstick. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Like one of my favorite nudes. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the lip. And taking my Becca palette here and going into Champagne Pop. Just gonna add some highlight to the tip of my nose, my Cupid's bow, and the high points of my cheeks, and also my forehead a little bit. And as you can see, I didn't bring it all the way down my nose. Guys, this camera is probably washing out my highlight, but check out my previous videos. Like the last ones that I uploaded, you probably would be able to see it a little better. And of course, on pictures on my Instagram. I'm wiping away excess powder because off camera I had to go in with my Pro Longwear by MAC and add that because... The LA Girl Concealer is okay, but it breaks up, and I really don't like it, so I had to kind of go over that. 
All right, so I'm adding my highlight um, to my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. And this is the same um, champagne pop. Right, time for the setting spray and we are done. I am loving how this came out. Very soft, so me. I love it. Alright, so time to show you guys this hair. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> yes, this is my hair from Ali Moda. This is the Kinky Straight. I definitely had to give you guys a closer look at this hair. I just did a review on it, so it is live on my channel. Make sure you check it out. I am still working on that part. But yeah, you guys, I love this whole look. If you do too, make sure you thumbs up the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And again, shout out to my girls that encouraged me on Instagram to continue to do my makeup videos when I was discouraged about the views. So thank you girls. I love you. Bye.